Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness, and today we are at Sunshine Tidings Co-op. I have built an awful lot of stuff here, and I'm up to, I counted 29 separate structures when we were looking at different buildings and combination uh, guard station and turret towers. And it's definitely time to stop building and start recording a full settlement tour here because I've gotten to the point now where I've glitched the size bar so many times that I've got texture loading errors. For example, this tree here has no texture loaded on it. But that's not what we're going to do today. We're not doing the full settlement tour today. This is just a little teaser for that. And it's also to showcase my Futurama style suicide booth. This is something that I saw the Mad Queen show do. And I thought it was a cool idea and wanted to kind of take that idea and make it my own because I'm the kind of person that if I'm gonna do it, I am gonna overdo it. And so welcome to our stop and drop suicide booth, which you will hopefully remember from the Futurama TV show. I've got a uh, bit of a Rube Goldberg device here, so let's just take a quick look at uh, how this thing works. So the first step is to take one of these steel balls and carry it up these precarious stairs. And I actually deliberately made these precarious and hard to climb because I kind of feel like, you know, if someone gets scared coming up those stairs, maybe they'll take a step back and decide to change their mind and make the right decision and choose not to do it. But if they are determined enough and they just can't stand to live in Wasteland anymore, we'll get to the stop top here, load that steel ball in there. They'll go down into the chamber itself and choose their method of death. They have the choice of quick and painless, or they have the choice of slow and horrible, just like the show. So after they've made their choice, they'll hit the start button, and depending on their choice, this gate will route the ball down one of these paths. And once it rolls through that switch, the method of chosen execution will begin adding that curve into it. Kind of slows things down enough to give the chamber time to work. And then it gets down to this bottom switch. And there's a few things that uh, this does. First is that it launches a firework to let them know, the other settlers know that someone has made a tragic choice and they will probably need to come back over here and take care of the remains. Now the second thing that that switch does is that it does make caring for the remains a lot easier because it activates these flamethrower traps to cremate the body and the last thing that that gate does is that after an appropriate delay while the body is cremated the door will open and everything is reset except of course that we I still haven't found a mod yet to run these flamethrower traps multiple times without having to come in back and repair them coming inside here the there is a, a speaker here that is basically going to give you a little bit of a heads up that uh, things are about to get started, but uh, really once you hit that start button, the door closes and you are stuck. So I don't feel like killing myself today. We're going to observe how this operates from the outside of the chamber. Also, it's just 
not terribly effective when you're level 150 with like 1300 hit points or something. So uh, let's go ahead and take that over to the slow and horrible setting. We're not going to hit that start button inside. We'll come out here and hit this start button that I have set up externally. And we hit the button and the door closes. Ball goes through the gate and begins. That spring trap begins stabbing the victim over and over again. Ball comes through the bottom gate and firework launches to notify everyone. Body gets cremated by the flamethrower traps. And after an appropriate time, the door opens. And since we're here and we can do it pretty easily, at least I hope we can do it easily, I'll go ahead and don't demonstrate the other method here. Oh, it takes a long time to get in the build mode at this point. Here we go. Here that. this, grab that steel ball, and very carefully take it up the stairs. Kind of have to be careful because, <coughs> excuse me, the ball only needs to pass near those gates for them to activate. Drop that in there, and I'm gonna kind of spin this around a little bit. It uh, it can actually. Well, well, now it seems to be glitched. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see if it'll let me pick it up now. All right. Well, we'll just grab it. That ball can fly off the track, unfortunately. Um, happens about 30% of the time makes no sense to me why it will be reliable almost always but not 100 percent drop that in there and i kind of noticed that it seems like if the uh, if those end caps on the ball are in the sides of the trough it's less likely to fly off the track Come down here and gonna pick quick and painless for my method here which uh, as you can probably guess is to basically stand between these pipe pistols and get myself shot in the head so there we go traps activated and if uh, since you probably know what's coming you're gonna be awfully interested in making sure that you get your head in front of that pipe pistol because uh, burning to death just would be an absolutely nightmarish way to die. So, body gets cremated and the doors open. We're reset, ready to go again. Hope you felt like this was a fun little build and um, if if I get some interest in uh, in the comments or whatever, I may do a tutorial on it someday. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, take a look around the channel. Maybe take a look at the uh, Smarter Power tutorial I did where I showed some concepts on how to remote control things throughout your settlement. And if you like that too, then be sure to hit subscribe. If you didn't like, Please tell me why down in the comments so that I can try and do better next time. My name is Nacho Bidness, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.